name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Hypocrisy is a kind of double behavior. We do not actually believe in what we pretend to do. For example, we like to be appreciated, said good things by others, but we do not return the same favor to others. We judge them badly. That brings conflict very often in our lives. We like to receive favors in good measure, but when we give, we are stingy. We are not able to return in the same measure that uh, we receive. Jesus calls these activities as hypocrisy. Hypocrisy is, a, to call someone a hypocrite is a very strong word. But uh, we often indulge in such practices. Jesus invites us to be people of uh, integrity. We cannot tell someone to take a speck out of their eye when we ourselves are guilty of it. We have to become people who are transparent who can see others for what they are. Hypocrisy has to be eliminated from our lives. As we have come together to celebrate this Eucharist, let us be enlightened by the words of Jesus and uh, ask him to help us. Today we celebrate the feast of Aloysius Gonzaga, a person of uh, integrity. Even before he joined the Jesuit novitiate, he was in communion with God, and he wanted to live that life. Unfortunately, he had only a very short life. During the plague that uh, affected, afflicted Rome, he died serving other people. He is a model for young people and all of us today. Let us be enlightened by his example. Let us now acknowledge our failures and uh, say, I confess to Almighty God. And you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my, my brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for, for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, giver of heavenly gifts, who in Saint Aloysius Gonzaga joined penitence to a wonderful innocence of life, grant through his merits and intercession that though we have failed to follow him in innocence, we may imitate him in penitence. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. In those days, the Lord said to Abraham, Go from your country and your kindred and your father's house to the land that I will show you. And I will make of you a great nation and I will bless you and make your name great, 
so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and him who dishonors you I will curse. And in you all the families of the earth shall be blessed. So Abraham went, as the Lord had told him, and Lot went with him. Abraham was seventy-five years old when he departed from Haran, and Abraham took Sarai his wife, and Lot his brother's son, and all their possessions that they had gathered, and the people that they had acquired in Haran. And they set out to go to the land of Canaan. When they came to the land of Canaan, Abraham passed through the land to the place of Sechem, to the oak of Moreh. At that time the Canaanites were in the land. Then the Lord appeared to Abraham and said, To your offspring I will give this land. So he built there an altar to the Lord, who had appeared to him. From there he moved to the hill country of the east of Bethel and pitched his tent. With Bethel on the west and Ai on the east, and there he built an altar to the Lord and called upon the name of the Lord. And Abraham journeyed on still going towards Negev. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response, bless the people the Lord has chosen as his heritage. Bless the people the Lord has chosen as his heritage. Bless the nations whose God is the Lord the people he has chosen as his heritage. From the heavens the Lord looks forth, he sees all the children of men. Bless, Bless the, the people, people the Lord, Lord has chosen as his heritage. Yes, the Lord's eyes are on those who fear him, who hope in his merciful love, to rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in famine. Bless, Bless the, the people the Lord has chosen as his heritage. Our soul is waiting for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. May your merciful love be upon us as we hope in you, O Lord. Bless, Bless the, the people, people the Lord has chosen as his heritage. Gospel acclamation. Sing hallelujah to the Lord. Sing hallelujah to the Lord. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah to the Lord. The word of God is living and active discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. Sing Alleluia to the Lord. Sing Alleluia to the Lord. Sing Alleluia. Sing Alleluia. Sing Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, Judge not that you may not be judged. For with the judgment you pronounce, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Why do you see the speck that is in your brother's eye, but do not notice the log that is in your own eye? 
Or how can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye when there is a log in your own eye? You hypocrite. First take the log out of your own eye and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your brother's eye. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Starting from today, for several days, our first readings are from the book of Genesis. Genesis means origin. The book of Genesis really brings to our attention how God began things. It all began with calling one single person, Abraham. And when God called Abraham, he left the land where he lived. He took his wife and he took his brother's son, Lot, and started traveling towards the land of Canaan. Abraham was 75 years old when he was called. That is an indication to us too that no age is an obstacle for us from beginning something new. At the age of 75, Abraham left everything and uh, followed Lord's call. So we too can begin something new at uh, any age. Age is not a barrier, a lesson that uh, we should take to our heart. We should not say, now I am old, now I cannot do anything new, which is not at all correct. Abraham had no children when God called. Sarah could not bear, bear a child, and yet they called God's call and followed him. So no obstacles should be a barrier for us to from beginning something new. Abraham and Sarah, if they could begin something new, we too can. God will give us what we desire. God will fulfill our heart's desires. So that is uh, the, the lesson that uh, we receive as we read and meditate on the book of Genesis, especially the reading of uh, today. As we have uh, come together to celebrate this, uh, this Eucharist, let the word of God enlighten us. Let us all be sure that God is calling us to. Every time there is a new initiative, people are called. And those who respond to that call, they are taken forward. They, we are told that through Abraham, God will bless every people in the world. We too can become a blessing for the people with whom we live. We have to follow God's call and we have to live our lives according to that call. Let God give us courage to follow our own call. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Bless Harry, Lord God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through to the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, dear brothers and sisters, that the sacrifice of ours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, O Lord, that by the example of Saint Telosius, we may take our place at the heavenly banquet clothed always in our wedding garment, so that by participation in this mystery, we may possess the riches of your grace through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gift you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of us, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and to eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, our Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Ilkuto, our Bishop, and all the clergy, the religious. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with her, the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, Saint Aloysius Gonzaga, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be choirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our A Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Bring us who have been fed with the food of angels, O Lord, to serve you in purity of life. And following the example of Saint Delosius, whom we honor today, may we persevere in constant thanksgiving. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in peace. This Mass is centered. Thanks be to God.